Hello everyone, my name is Foley and welcome to Making Dreams Come True episode 23. In the last episode, I ended up doing the Desert Treasure 2 quest and also farmed Vardorvis for 502 kills and ended up getting the Butch Pet. Also, I got, I believe it ended up being six Awakeners orbs. I got three before the Awakeners orbs got put into the collection log. But other than that, I got nothing else besides, you know, Blood Quartz and the Strangled Tablet. No other uniques. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you're new here and like the content, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the future. But let's go ahead and get started. I will not accept that I have not gotten a unique. I am staying at Vardorvis until I get something and maybe even a little longer. Overall, I'm really enjoying this fight. Yeah, I'm 502 dry for something. and But I just can't help thinking that I've rolled twice for the vestige. So my mind is just not letting me leave here until I get it because I feel like I'm so close already. But let's go ahead and get started and thank you for watching. Hey, an Awakener Orb at KC 515. Money! Another Blood Quartz at KC 524. Oh, I, I didn't even realize that I've been cruising by, but yep, uh, 554 kills now. Right, that was kill 600, and it has uh, it has been a minute since I've seen a drop. Oh, oh yes, finally a fucking drop. The executioner's axe head. <laughs> I fucking called that shit. <laughs> oh my god, that is that is Casey 634. That is the first unique. From this boss besides the pet oh my god oh okay now now the luck is gonna start catching up right that's that's how it works yeah it'd be absolutely ridiculous if i ended up getting the the vestige on this next kill <laughs> bronze javelin okay yeah you can't got humbled very quick <laughs> all right and the executioner's axe head is one of four pieces that you need to make the new soul reaper axe each piece is a unique drop from one of the four new bosses that came with desert treasure 2 i will just need to get the one from duke whisper and leviathan now which i'm not targeting to get because they are pretty rare to uh to obtain but i can keep this in the bank and whenever i do i can make the axe but i am still on the quest to get the vestige to drop so wish me luck hey an awakener's orb at kc 645 money 700 kills i now have as much kills as vardovis has hp wow that's just crazy to think about hey the first chromium ingot there we go Got the first one at kill 736. A Awakener's Orb on kill count number 766. A back-to-back -back Awakener Orb? All right, we're just gonna plop these in here. Are they going for 3.2 mil? Yes, they are. Let's go. 6.5 mil in the bag. Ah, oh, I think that is the fourth blood quartz at 810 KC. Hey, that is the second onyx bolt drops that I've gotten in this whole grind. There we go. I'm on kill count 851 now. And I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. But I did end up getting two more Awakeners orbs, so I got those in the bank now. I'm sitting at kill 892. So approaching 900 very soon and i guess it's been a while since i've shown the log so this is what we're looking at right now just one chromium ingot nine awakeners orbs the executioner's axe head and the pet so hopefully i'm getting pretty close to that vestige i i can feel that it's close but then again that's probably uh probably just copium hey the second chromium ingot very nice that is casey number 896 Oh, yes! That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's fucking go. Give me that shit. Okay, KC902. Fuck yes. I'm out of here. Goodbye, Vardorvis. It was nice knowing you. 
Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, so if I log out and then log back in and then I refresh this page. All right, so we are at rank 3059 for Vardorvis and we have gotten officially every unique from him. I'm probably going to be done with Vardorvis for indefinitely on this account. The only other pieces I need are the Virtus set, but I can get that from the other three bosses. And if I like one of those bosses more, then I'll probably do that boss over Vardorvis. So with the Altar Vestige, I can make the Altar Icon, and I will need 500 Blood Runes and a Berserker Icon. Now to get a Berserker Icon, we need to uh, use a Chisel on our Berserker Ring. Okay, and before I chisel this Berserker Ring, I'm going to have to uncharge it. So that is 260,000 Nightmare Zone points given back to me. And I make myself a Berserker Icon. And now I can grab my Blood Runes. And to learn how to combine the ring icons, I need to go to Pier the Seer. Now, Pier the Seer is located in Relica. Just right here where this square is. So let's go over and talk to him. Now, if you use the from Nick Sea Boots teleport, then he'll be, you know, just right there. And just ask him if you can help, if he can help you combine some items. And then I guess he will teach you how to do that. And all you should have to do is use one on the other. It's going to give you this prompt. And now you have the altar icon. Now, you need to take this altar icon and grab yourself three chromium ingots, which I have two of. I'm gonna buy the third one. You also need 90 magic and 80 crafting, plus a ring mold um, to do this while you're at a furnace. All right, and there is our three, so let's get ourselves the ring mold. Okay, now that I got the three chromium ingots, let's go over to Edgeville and make ourselves the ring. And now for the big moment, craft an altar ring. This cannot be reversed. Why, yes, I will. Bam, look at that altar ring. It says they're going for 22 mil in the grand exchange, but I would assume it's a lot higher. All right, if we look at this GE tracker, it looks like it's selling for about 130 million. So yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna chuck it in there for, for that much. See what happens. 131 million let's put it right there oh my god it's real look at that <laughs> oh i gotta get a screenshot of that oh lucky there yeah look at that 131 beans right there in the back 143 mil cash stack holy shit oh i haven't had this much money since i like sold my whole bank for the bofa Holy shit, that feels amazing. All right, and here's the loot from 902 Vardorvis, 69.1 mil in loot, 11 Awakener's Orbs. I believe there was one or two that wasn't on this log, so we'll make it 13. And 423 Runite Ore, 22k Blood Runes, 4,000 Adamant Ore, and 9,600 Soul Runes. The rest is kind of meh. We did end up getting 1,900 Dragon Dart Tips and 150 Onyx Bolts E as well but other than that we got the two chromium ingots the altar vestige the axe head and then five blood quartz and of course the teleport but while i think what i want to do with this money i am going to actually take all this ore and put it in the giant's foundry because it's free smithing xp and decent gp per hour so might as well do it it shouldn't take too long to do it but that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do and I didn't think about it till now, but the I have the Ring of Endurance now, so doing the Blast Furnace with it, it's going to make it a lot smoother and a lot chiller. Won't have to worry about stamina as much. That looks just absolutely fucking fantastic. I'm telling you, man. Okay, so I decided to go to bed before I made those adamant bars, and I got home from work today to see that they made an update regarding Desert Treasure 2 bosses. So the extra quartz that you get now you can go to the ancient vault and exchange them for dragon plate skirts dragon dart tips soul runes and more so that's exciting they also made a couple of changes to each of the bosses 
They also made it to where the ancient icons can now be ground up for 5,000 ancient essence and by using a pestle and mortar on it. Oh, and they did make some small adjustments to the Soul Reaper Axe, but I'm not going to go through all this. You can pause it right here and read it if you want, but it looks like it's just some quality of life stuff for all those bosses, which is, you know, always nice to see. So, but yeah, I really don't expect too much gold out of those chests, but it is a, you know, a nice little reward for you getting a dupe. So at least you're getting something out of a dupe. All right. I'm not sure how much coal I'm going to need, but... I have like 12,000 coal, so I'm just going to go through all of it and see how much I'm left with. All right, and away we go. All right, I am out of coal now, so I'm going to go pick up some at the Grand Exchange to finish out this adamant and mithril ore. But we do have 3,999 adamant bars right now. Oh, I, I just missed it, but... uh level 81 smithing all right and that is all of the things smelted now i did some thinking about what i wanted to spend i guess a little bit of the money on and i'm going to uh stay smithing for now because i want to get the lumbridge and drainer elite diary done now if we look here i have everything that i need to do it besides the 88 smithing so I can train to 83 and then boost to 5 if I want, or I can train all the way to 88, I'm not sure yet. But let's go ahead and train to 83 and see how I feel, and that will be the deciding factor if I just push all the way to 88 right now. But yeah, getting the uh, Elite Diary done for this, it will make my Explorer's Ring do high level alchemy instead of low level alchemy, which is really nice. And then the other big thing is... You get a six slot for blocking Slayer Task, and you don't have to use the Draymond or Lunar Staff ever again. So, yeah, some pretty big upgrades, and I'm excited to get the rewards. And looking at it, it looks like it's only going to cost about 1.5 mil to get to level 83. And level 82 smithing. Level 83. Let's go. Awesome. All right, and some of you may have noticed, and some of you may not have, but I, in fact, but I actually need 84 smithing for the plus four boost. I, for some reason, I was thinking it was a plus five, but that's the spicy stew, and I'm definitely not going to go and try to RNG myself a plus five boost, so. But yeah, I had a bunch of phone time today, so I sat around and I was making these adamant bars into adamant bolts. Now, each bar makes 10 adamant bolts and they are pretty much the same price so if we look here we have 170 each and then a bar um let me see how much a bar costs real quick a bar costs 1721 so they're pretty close in value and the reason why i'm making them into bolts is because i have all these gems that i cut into bolt tips while i was on the phone as well so i'm going to make these diamond and ruby bolt tips and make them into adamant you know, into the respective adamant bolts. But yeah, I figured I'd do that, stretch out a little bit of the smithing XP that I have with the bars and also get some fletching XP on the side. And I'll still be, you know, making a decent amount of money too. Plus it's a little more AFK and I do need to do some editing. So this will work out perfectly while I get that level 84 smithing. All right, so I got enough adamant bolts to finish off the ruby and diamonds. The... Emerald and Sapphire come from Mithril Bars, I believe. Well, Mithril Bolts. Um, I'm not going to do those because I am done editing for now. So I'm going to take the rest of this gold ore and go to the Blast Furnace. I am pretty close to a level, so, so I shouldn't be there for too long. I only have 75k to go, so. And that is level 84 smithing. Let's go get this diary done. Alright, so we can buy this grog for about... 45k and that should be good so let's go ahead and go to our first task which turns out to be making the adamant plate body so we got to go to the drainer sewer we're just gonna walk over here and we're gonna drink our grog and then we're gonna make ourselves the adamant plate body all right and that is the first task complete the next one we need to go to dorgish khan all right here in the dorgish khan 
Yeah, I do not go here often, so I really, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool place aesthetically, but yeah, there's like really nothing to do down here, really. Unless you want to turn in your, uh, your like curved and long bones over here. All right, looks like these are the chest. Hopefully he does not catch me. They've already been looted. Um, there we go. I had to hop a couple worlds to find a chest that was actually uh, not opened already. There we go. We got it. And it gave us a frog leather body. Pretty dope. Next step, we need to pickpocket this guy near the end of the Dorgish Khan agility course. Okay. All right, here we go. Give me my shit. All right, and now to make some water runes. All right, here we go. Boom. <clears throat> All right, now let's go cut that magic log. And there we go. Lumbridge Elite Diary done. Let's go get our rewards. All right, here is the man. Give me my shit. Goodbye. All right, now we have this antique lamp that I'm just going to go ahead and put into agility. 50k right there. And I'm not going to read all the stuff again for what the Elite Diary gives. I'm going to put it on the screen, though. So if you want to pause to uh, to read it, then there it is for you. But yeah, we got our Explorer's Ring, and I don't have to use a Draymond Staff anymore. Now, there's one other thing that I thought of that I should uh, buy a little bit of, and that is going to be Bank Space. Yes, I, I mean, I honestly could get rid of quite a bit of, like, bank space right now to free up some but i think having more for the future is the way to go in the end so i think that's what i'm going to do so if you never bought bank slots you just go to the banker and talk to them and then they'll have an option if that you would like to buy more you can buy up to 360 additional slots and sets of 40. but i think for right now i'm just gonna spend 8 million on 120 more slots i think that's a good one to buy for right now Awesome, so there we go. And we still have 131 million left. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the episode, I do want to start grinding Leviathan soon. With that being said, I want to invest into a couple of items to make that grind a little bit better. Now, looking at the strategies, it seems like the Web Weaver Bow is going to be the best option if you are utilizing the special attack. So, I am going to go ahead and buy myself a Web Weaver, and it's going to be about 29 mil. So there we go, and we have the Web Weaver. Now, the Web Weaver is used mainly in the wilderness, but the special attack is called Swarm, which consumes 50% of your special attack energy, and it hits an enemy four times in succession with double accuracy, each dealing up to 40% of the player's max hit. That is pretty strong, and you use it at the end of the Leviathan battle to hopefully just drain all of its health within those two special attacks so you don't have to deal with like the enrage phase. Using this bow is similar to the Bofa or crystal bow where you have to charge it. This weapon being the Revenant Ether. Now you have to activate it with at least 1000 Ether and you can hold up to 16,000 Ether in it at a time. But that's pretty much it for the Web Weaver Bow. It has a lot of bonuses in the wilderness, which I'm not sure if I'll ever go into the wilderness uh, soon, but if I decide to, I can keep it and use it then, or I can just sell it back as soon as I'm done with it. So either way, it's a win-win. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the 17,000, why'd I type 17,000, uh, the Ether? I'm going to go ahead and buy 17,000 of it, which is going to cost about 3 mil, which is not bad. But I shouldn't have to buy any more charges for the Web Weaver, at least for this grind. I feel like it doesn't, it's not going to take up that much since I'm only going to be using it for the special attack. And each special attack consumes four charges. So we're looking at eight charges per kill. So, okay, now I'm curious. I have to pull out the calculator. So if we do eight charges per kill and then we get like, let's say a thousand kills, that's only 8,000 charges. So we're, we're suited up for like 2,000 kills, you know. I am going to be using the crystal armor set with the Bofa. So I have pretty much best in slot for the setup that I am using. Besides the Pagasian boots and the Zerite van braces. And honestly, after looking over the stats of the Pagasian and Ranger boots, it's really not even a big difference to the blessed boots. 
The Blessed Booch actually give a prayer bonus and the Ranger and Pagasians don't. It's the, really the only item I needed for this grind besides a bunch of uh, rare pots and food. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just buy a whole bulk of prayer potions. Um, how's 2000 sound? 2000 sounds fucking great to me. I mean, range pots. We definitely need some range pots. Yeah, let's get some divine ranges. 300 sound, sounds pretty good. Be good for a while. All right, I'm going to buy some anglerfish and some shark as well. All right, and that should be good for a while. I still got 74 mil left. We got a shit ton of supplies to do Leviathan. Now, as for the rest of the money, I'm not too sure what I want to do with it yet. So I think I'm just going to hold it for now. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to color my crystal armor since i've never well i haven't done that yet so and we have the black bow well we have the black crystal armor now and for the weapon i think i'm gonna go white bam 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 oh yeah that looks clean oh yeah but that is gonna be the end of the video a bit of a short one this week but I don't want to get into Leviathan at the end of this video and then have all next video be Leviathan. I just kind of want to chunk it all into one. But if you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you. If you're new here and like the content, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I upload new videos in the future. But I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time and thank you for watching. Peace.